So I'm going to do a quick assembly of the goggles. We have the top, we have the bottom, we have the screen, we have the Fresnel lens which sort of focuses on the screen, and we have the strap, and we have the screws for the strap. So let's get started. I'm not going to use glue, I'm going to use tape just so if I need to take anything apart I can adjust it. So we're going to take the bottom, take the screen, put it inside, and take the top, take the Fresnel lens, and put it in. Then we'll go ahead and put this down. And then after we do that, go ahead and take some tape, and then just tape it together. And with these tabs, we can move this back and forth, and we can adjust the screen's position, or adjust the Fresnel lens's position. And then next, we have to make a slot on both sides. I'm just going to put a piece of tape over it and then recut. And do the same for the other side. And I'm going to take the strap, separate it, and I'll take this side and with a ruler, I will take this, wrap it around the ruler, and sort of work its way in there. Now this is nice and secure, and then I can use, I can adjust it, and then using these screws supplied, I'll put two in on both sides. Now I'll do the same thing for the other side. Now that it's all complete, I have my goggles ready, and I can go ahead and put them on, see how they fit, and uh, you can adjust the lens back and forth. So now I have the rest of the components of the kit, and now I can put those all together. The kit comes with absolutely everything you need, and to set everything up, you only need two LiPo batteries.
preferably three cell, but two cell would be fine as well. So I'll be powering the transmitter and the camera with the two cell. And I'll be powering the screen and the receiver with the, with the three cell. So this goes into the screen, and this goes into the receiver. I'll then connect the receiver's antenna. So we have this side set up. And then I'll plug in the transmitter's antenna. I will power on this the screen receiver. And there you go. This is a no blue screen, which means that it will not blue out no matter what. It'll just connect with the static. And now I'll plug in the... Now, I'm missing one thing. The video link. And as I said, all of these cables come with the kit. Now let me take the lens cap off, and then you can see I have this hooked up. There I am in the screen. Hello. So it's very easy, comes with absolutely everything you need. Go ahead and show everything. So it has absolutely everything you need, the polarized antennas, it comes with all of the cables, it comes with the cable to connect the power, it comes with the cable to go from the receiver to the screen, and this cable is great because it splits and it uses one battery to power the screen and the receiver. And right here, what I have set up is... I have the camera on a foam block, and then I have the transmitter inside of here. So, and then Velcro on the bottom, so I can just put it on whatever aircraft I want. And although I'm connecting it to the, to the battery plug, it also comes with an alternate plug right here. And this goes from JST to a balance connector so I could plug it into the balance port of a 3 cell and then run it off of that so I could unplug this then you see the video feed goes out plug it back in and we have the feedback so this is a very very easy kit to set up this is my first FPV kit and I definitely like to say it is great. It was $95. Actually, I used a discount, so it was $95, but it's $99.99 on Hobby King. And it's a great starter FPV kit. It comes with absolutely everything you need. I already had the batteries, so I just had to hook it all up. And it was very simple, and it's a, an amazing kit.